Hello and welcome to the Waterfed Poll on WCR show. The show is being brought to you by windowcleaningresource.com. It's the world's best forum for discussing window cleaning topics and also the best place on the internet to get window cleaning accessories and equipment, including your Waterfed poles. Today's show is poles and brushes. We're just going to briefly talk about a couple of the different poles, a couple of the different uh, materials used to make the poles and a couple of different brushes. So to jump right into it, I have here a tucker pole. This is one of the original uh, first waterfed poles and uh, it, it is made out of aluminum. It has clamps on it that you can turn and extend it. This is a 45 foot pole. So uh, it's kind of heavy but it is very durable. You can tell it's taken a beating and the thing still works great. So that's one of the advantages to it. It does have some flexibility to it, which in uh, waterbed poles is not all that good. Um, but, but it's still definitely usable, just compared to a carbon fiber pole, it's a little flexible. Um, you definitely, when extending this out, you have to walk it up the building. It's not like the super light where you can extend it all the way out on the ground and then lift it up really easily. Um, you will get a workout using this pole, but it is a great pole. Um, I think these are priced in the $500 range for a 45 foot, so it's a great way to get started into Waterfed Pole. Um, if you need something that will reach a three story building or four, some four stories. But a uh, really nice, nice pole. You just have to consider uh, some of its uh, benefits and maybe a couple of its disadvantages to it. But for the price, you really can't beat it. So, uh, next, let me show you a uh, fiberglass pole. This is an X-Tail. I believe it is about a 20-foot pole. It's made out of fiberglass. Extremely light. Um, much lighter than Tucker pole, even though it is, you know, half its uh, height. But it's uh, very light. Um, it's a little bit better with the flexibility issue. It's a little bit stiffer than the aluminum. But you can extend it out. It has these clamps, which are a little bit easier to use than the Tucker pole. And uh, with this one, just like the Tucker pole, the uh, hose goes through the middle of it. So you don't have to worry about the uh, hose getting tangled on stuff. And uh, this is just a really nice pole. I think this comes in at under $200. So this is a really great way to get started, a really cheap way to get started in Waterfed Pole. If you're looking for something to clean uh, two-story windows or less than that. I use this pole a lot for commercial car dealerships and stuff like that. Um, just a really great all-around pole. Uh, I, the only thing that I can find wrong with this pole is it uh, only goes to 20 feet. This pole would go up to 50 feet or something and uh, still be this light, it'd be great. But it just doesn't. But uh, the next pole is going to be a carbon fiber pole. Let me grab that. This is a super light pole. And it is a modular pole, meaning that you uh, slide the pieces together and they just go together like this. You want to make sure that that connection is completely clean because if there are any rocks or any dirt it can crack the pole because that is the thinnest spot of the carbon fiber. But this pole is extremely light. You won't believe how light this pole is. Uh, put to all together this is a 56 foot pole. I believe it weighs in the neighborhood of a uh, gallon of milk. Around eight, less than 8 pounds. So uh, this is one of the poles that you can stand all the way together on the ground and just lift it right up into the air and go to work cleaning. Uh, the hose goes on the exterior of the pole, but you can put, uh, I put Velcro uh, wraps around it and it keeps it secure there. And I may have like five going up, one per each section or something like that. Um, it just keeps the, keeps, the, keeps the hose right next to the pole and you don't have to worry about it getting caught on anything. The great thing about this pole is you can start at the top and as you're working yourself down, you can just take a section off and lay it down on the grass. Don't throw it down because it will break. You don't want to step on it or do anything like that. I keep this pole inside of a PVC, uh, 8 inch round PVC pipe inside of a better truck, not only to prevent uh, somebody from stealing it, but to uh, keep it uh, nice and uh, safe. You don't want anything hitting it especially around these edges because they are pretty thin. But uh, the advantage to this pole, extremely light, it's very stiff even at the 56 feet point, 
Um, there, it does have some flexibility to it, which uh, you're just not going get to get away with uh, having it completely stiff. But um, very nice pole. It is a little bit pricey, and when I say pricey, it's not overly expensive because what you would be able to do with a 56-foot pole, it'll uh, greatly make up for it cost-wise. But you are looking at probably uh, $2,000 plus for this pole. But um, you, you can make that up real quick on your first job. The next pole I have is a sim pole. Phil Alexander, he's a window cleaner, been cleaning windows for uh, I believe over 40 years. He invented this pole, he put it together um, because he wanted a pole that was pretty much indestructible. It is made out of carbon fiber but it's a little bit heavier. The reason why it's heavier is it's uh, the uh, wall thickness, the, the uh, thickness of the wall is, is a lot thicker than something like the super light, but it is heavier. Um, but you just, it, it's very sturdy, you can't break it. I'll show you a uh, little something with it. You can just toss it down like that. You can walk on it. You just, it it's a very tough pop. So not that you're going to be uh, tossing your pole down or anything when you're cleaning windows, but if you have your employee have it and uh, he accidentally drops it, steps over it, or uh, somebody backs over it for some reason, uh, you don't have to worry so much because it's probably going to hold up. And I would say if it breaks, just give Phil a call and he's going to uh, make sure he gets it fixed for you. Um, so the advantage with this pole is it's a uh, stiff because it is a carbon fiber. It does weigh more than super light, but it's definitely lighter than the Tucker pole. Um, a couple of the disadvantages to the pole is it's a little bit pricey. Uh, again, it's carbon fiber. It just it, it just costs you know money to make it. But um, another thing was I wasn't very impressed with the brushes that were sent with the pole. Uh, I had to replace one of the compression fittings. I had to trim out some of the bristles on the brush to uh, make sure that the jets flew through properly. Um, what I would suggest doing if you order one of these brushes or one of these poles is to order a Viking brush or uh, some type of aftermarket brush to put on it. Um, I think you'd just be a lot more happier with, uh, with another kind of brush than the brushes that I got. Now, if he may have changed the brushes on it, you may get a brush that works just fine. I'm just saying from my experience, uh, the brushes, they took a little bit of work to make them work properly. But overall, this is a really nice pole, really great pole, and uh, I've been pretty happy with it.